welcome back to the BSN channel. Today, the async, the Adinkra symbol we're talking about today is Jinyami. <laughs> and um, as you can hear, I've got my mother with me. <laughs> That's my symbol. To help me talk about this symbol. So first of all, we're going to translate what Jinyami means. So Jinyami means except God or only God. So in other words, everything like for example to say no one can do it except God. You know. Anything is possible through God. So God makes everything possible because only God can do it. Only God can do all. So um Mum, is that an accurate perception of um, this Adinkra, would you say? Yeah, it's the, the same thing. Uh, yeah, you're right. It's um, except the Almighty. Mm. The Almighty God. I'm going to leave the symbol somewhere around here. So, Chef. which is um, somewhere here. That symbol is my logo at the moment. Because one every time that I look at that uh, symbol, reminds me of my whole life. So in why? Other, in other words, um, no, starting from you know early age, how parents didn't have much, and how I grew up out of the poverty, and I then seeing you know my mom and dad being poor so many brothers you know nine brothers but my mom has to work hard to bring you know to bring us up i looked back and see that you know i don't know whether i was the only one thinking i don't want to be poor and i kept that in my head like a picture and i thought no i'm going all the way ahead I'm not going to be where my mom is in that situation. So would you say that Adinkra is what helped you get through that moment? Yeah, that Adinkra is the one that helped me. Because don't get me wrong, you know, that uh, everything went tickly boo straight away for me. No, it didn't. You know, it was just ups and down, ups and down, ups and down. And then, you know, at the long run, I bounce back properly and be a bit more stable in life. So obvious. Um, plus, I've been, you know, and it's been an eye opener as well as uh, you know, every house they have all this uh, witchcraft. We believe in God and everything, but yeah. there's uh, evil people around, and so they did not even expect me to live a life up to now. So, in other words, my mom was always praying with the hope that I live long. And eventually she left and then um, I'm still about. But what I know of, both physical and spiritual, I've realized I've conquered every obstacle that evil or the bad people thoughts for me but now my symbol really is being is the a genome. so when you go on my um a lot of things that i've written down i've made a note on a lot of my uh what do you call it whatsapp and my emails and that you can see edinkra that symbol everywhere with me, even my house that I'm building in Ghana, my gate has got this big symbol of a genyami, which I'm so proud because now there's not even a human, anyone, there's no one on this universe can, you know, get me down or put me down or kill me or make me wish me dead or anything except God. If I die today, or tomorrow, that would be God. 
it won't be like a, a witchcraft or whatever or anybody else. No. I believe now that whatever happened in my life is God. So that um, Adinkra, which is a uh, Jinyame, is, I love it. I'd, there's so many symbols, which but, is um, about 50 or so, or 30, is it? Yeah, but I'll, I'll you know, there's... I'll be do videos on as many as you know I, I can, but this one at hand is Jinyami that we're focusing on. Yeah, the Jinyami I'm talking what? about is when I looked at all those uh, uh, symbols, all the Dinkra, the only one I fall for is that Jinyami mm -hmm. because where I was and where I am now, whoa, except God. Mm -hmm. and, I'm um, unremovable. Yeah, immovable. <laughs> and um, why would you say that's one of the chief, well, if not the most popular or chief Adinkra of them all? Uh, because because of the name. Because there's nothing, nothing stronger than except God. Mm -hmm. God is the, you know, the almighty, the everything. Thing. That's true. On in life and in heaven, you know, up there and down here, everything is God. So for anybody even to open their mouth to say, a jinami, jinami means so much. Could be your life history. It could be what you've gone through. You know, physical mm -hmm. or spiritual. That's how you would name. You know your yourself to be like you know you can choose any symbol that you like. Some people don't get me wrong. Some people prefer different different um, adding crap, but Jinyami, wow. Jinyami is a bit like the the foundational or the foundation symbol, isn't it? Yeah. Like everything is based on Jinyami. Yeah, everything. You but, know, is by God. But the good thing about the symbol is, it's not just Christianity. You know. Every, every religion has a god or gods oh, yeah. and even the religions the traditional religion before you know Christianity and Islam mm. we all believed in the supreme being which was Nyame yeah. and then you had the smaller gods but we always believed that you know the ultimate power mm. lied with the supreme being and that was in Nyame yeah, so. so I think that's the real meaning you first explain it properly is is a symbol of supremacy. Yeah, supremacy. Supremacy that you know, if it's if you can't do it, like for example, if you feel that everyone's against you, and um, you yourself and the people you know can't get you out of this mess, you you can seek relief in the fact that only God can help you. Only God can do it. Not the devil. Not any other gin or spirit. It's fate. It's, it's called fate. It's the belief that God, who's the supreme being, the one, the, the beginning and the end, yep. that can get you out of that trouble. Alpha and Omega. So there can only be... Well, that's what it's saying. There can only be one God. And that's... One and only. You know, that suits you know people who believe in Islam. Because that's what they believe a lot. So it, a lot of religions can use it. It's, it's, it's wisdom. It's, it's earthly wisdom that it uses a lot of common sense. So therefore, it's universal. It's not just based on one thing. You can use it for your own religion. Or you can go back to his real roots. And um, I look at the Dinka symbols quite similar to how the ancient Egyptians had their hieroglyphs in their pyramids. It's quite... There's a bit of a correlation between those two. But Jinyami, even the shape of it, I don't understand the meaning of the shape. It's, it's like a grobar. Grobar. It's all round. It's a round thing because it's going this way and then it's coming this way. The opposite is to meet. Mm -hmm. 
So really, it's, it's more so, it's like a global thing. Yeah. It's all round, it, one world. It kind of makes me, to me, personally, it looks like we're, you know, we've grown from God. But at the same time, we all come from one source. So therefore, you can only seek an answer from the source of yourself or the source of your problem. And your problem is usually earthly things, stuff that's created around you. And what was created around you was created by God. So therefore, the only answer can be the person who created that. So that's how I look at it. Yeah, that's why you should say, uh, Junior, I mean, except God, except Almighty God. Is that, that, I think that's the only explanation we can give so far. Yeah, it sort of speaks for itself. Mm. Genuinely. And you looked at it and then you said, wow, there must be a reason why they've named that as Jinyami. I love that. Like I said, I even want to name my house as Jinyami House. <laughs> yeah, because if we've done that, it would mean only God resides in that house. No yes. evil spirit or spirits that you don't want no, should be there. I'm not scared. One thing you've got to realise, Ghana is a very spiritual country, very religious country, whether they're doing traditional medicine, you know, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, Christianity. Hebrew. There's a spiritual but religious traditional element that always resides in Ghana. And we follow rituals, whether it's Christianity, whatever religion. We, we hold it deeply. It's very... We... <laughs> We believe in it to the point where if someone was to disrespect it, you're disrespecting us. So that's why under, you know, if you see a lot of wood carvings of the golden stool, even there you would see the shape of um, Jin Yami symbol and uh, carved within the middle of the golden stool. Which, which speaks for itself. Well, they all have their name, isn't it? I've got Jinyami there. Excuse me, can you get me one of those chairs? Yeah, yeah. one black one and a white one. And uh, that proof. Yeah, I'm going to show a little yeah, carving two of them, one that we white, got from Ghana. One white, one black, please. I'm going to show. Oh, there's a white one there. Thank you. Yeah, I understand. You're saying it as if I'm some stranger. <laughs> I don't know if I can show it properly. Yeah, on your shoulder. Put on your shoulder. This is it. The golden stool. Well, image of the golden stool with the Jinyami sign in the middle. Yeah. Got another one. And you got this one. That proves I love it. It's beautiful. They, a lot of people use this for protection. So whatever God you're believing in, the belief is that only God is with you. The Supreme God. This, uh, to be honest, the reason... I've already said the reason why it's the most popular because of how religious Ghanaians are. But at the same... Mm. At the same time, yeah, the, we have a strong belief system. And we... It can, it can be used in any situation. Like, any situation. So anyway, um, I'm going to leave it there. If you like, like. If you dislike, you dislike. If not already, please subscribe. Peace.